Hello, hello, welcome back to the Pocket. Most cringy things in the 1980s. I am your host. Well, it's me, of course. In today's episode, I'm gonna fix up my fucking seating. There we go. <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> anyway, let's fucking go. Using a vacuum cleaner in my world had been common practice. Of course, I'd use a cloth for narrow places and for thorough cleaning, but I always finished the majority with a vacuum cleaner. I said don't disturb you, I'm cleaning my room! Maybe I'm just used to that lifestyle, but I feel so limited now that I don't even have one appliance I can use. Finally finished. I slump into the first seat I can find after being released from my cleaning duties. I've got to get used to this analog lifestyle and quick. Ah, hell yeah, you're gonna get rid of, you know, you're gonna get used to this shit fucking quick smart. I stand up with spring to myself. What a wonderful world. I have to put away the cleaning tools. I'm gonna stop because that made no fucking sense. I, that wasn't even catchy. If I wander around the house, I'm sure I'll be able to find Daisy. The first place I should check is probably here. I raise my hand in readiness and calm my breathing as. Really, motherfucker? I raise my hand in readiness and calm my breathing as I stand in front of the girl's bedroom. Lupin might be sleeping and Daisy might be changing. I have no doubt that, that I'll be beaten to a pulp the day I catch a glance of her changing. In order to avoid the worst case scenario like that, I knock just in case. Hey Daisy, I finished cleaning. After knocking, I call out, but there's no response. Hello? Can I be like Nickelback from The Shining? Be like, here's Pokey. I open the door, a crack and peek inside, but no one is there. But slowly shut it like Aaron Yeager. Like I've just seen something that I shouldn't know. I guess she's not here. Seeing that neither of them are sleeping in their beds, I realize that Lupin must be awake too. Motherfucker, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. You gotta have your ass up. Well, if I find Lupin first, I can ask her where the storage area is for all the cleaning equipment. Not here either. If Lupin is awake, I would have fought to find her in here. It seems that neither of them are inside. I check outside, but I don't see any sign of them either. Where did they run off to? Could they have gone into town to do some shopping? I'm sure that Lupin would have mentioned it to me if that were the case, although Daisy might leave without saying anything. Hmm? Did I just hear something now? There's no doubt about it. There's a sound coming from the back of the tavern. Maybe it's a mouse? Or it could be a restaurant's ultimate nemesis. A cockroach. Maybe it's a mouse, maybe it's a rat, maybe it's a robber, who knows? But hey, you know what? I can say the word cock and not get in trouble. Cock to cock to cock cock Community guidelines violation. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Motherfucker! What the fuck you mean that sounds terrible? That sounds terrible as is. The bigger the noise, the bigger the roach, and the bigger the cock. Oh, come on, that's ridiculous. Brushing the image of a Garganton cockroach from my mind, I try thinking of other possibilities. Now, real quickly, if someone turns around and says, oh, he said the word wrong, in the comments, I'm going to turn around and go, bitch, do I look like a fucking dictionary? It would be a monster, right? I joke, but I had the feeling that there's no laughing matter. I mean, my guy, you did go up against, you know, a slime. And, well... Yeah, makes sense why you're fucking terrified. I'd be terrified. You know, like, like, let's take every fucking, you know, every game character slash mythological creature that's, that's normally structural in a fantasy world. Bitch, that'd be a fucking mini mini minute I have no idea how to fight. You got knocked the fuck out, man! And I doubt I'll have a chance if I monster appears. I just realized that if that's the case, then demons might be here. Succubus might be here. Ooh, oh mama. But wait! There's more! Oh mama! Ooh. This is what it's like when I pull out my cockroach just like a handgun I blow. Hang on. A fee for a breaking sounds. More realistically than a monster, doesn't it? These two girls, they live alone For the feet, no better target could possibly exist Alright, I'm gonna stop that now <laughs> I'd better check just in case 
I'll just run away at full speed if I find myself in a dangerous situation. Why are you running? I creep to where the sound is coming from as quietly as possible. It's coming from inside this room. When I put my ear up against the door, I can hear something moving around inside. Whew. I take a deep breath and then let it out quietly. I repeat a few times trying to get my breathing under control. And here we go. Regulating my breathing, I swing open the door. Who's there? Oh fuck, that's a body body. A fucking bright light. Who's there? Hey yo. Hey yo. Huh? Oh, uh huh. There's no thief or rubber on the other side of the door. It's Daisy standing there in her underwear. Hey yo. We got a thumbnail. Hey yo. We have a thumbnail, boys. Let's go. <laughs> She's standing there frozen like a robot whose power has been cut. Well, correction, we may have a thumbnail. It depends on how YouTube turns around and goes. Hey, you can't actually use this because, yeah, you know, because, you know, because it's too sexualized, because it's an animation. Turn around and go, motherfucker, bitch, I shit you not. There are yoga classes on YouTube that are nude, straight up nude. If you're going to turn around and tell me that, hey, you can't add this as a thumbnail because it's sexually lewd, I'm going to turn around and go, motherfucker, who the fuck do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Is it possible that I've made a very big mistake? Um, hell no. Nah. I mean... The only big mistake here is that ass, goddamn. What am I supposed to do if I try and make up some stupid excuse? I'm dead. Best case, I'll probably be thrown out of the house. Which makes sense. Um, Miss Daisy, this is well. People can be so pathetic, even though I know I shouldn't make excuses. My instinct is to try and protect myself. Which is natural, it is natural, especially in today's modern society. You know what? Like, right here, right here, right here. This happened in IRL, right here. Boom, he'd be put in jail for life. A poor man. Daisy twitches, no, we no, we are not doing this on Twitch. We are not doing this on Twitch. In reaction to the words that spill from my lips. I mean, I thought someone might be rubbing the house. Twitch, no, no Twitch. Daisy is twitching, motherfucker, I said no Twitch. Again in response. That's why I, uh, hey, where is everyone? I hear Lupin's voice coming from the tavern. Oh, this is where you were hiding. Hey, do you know where Daisy is? What are you doing, you peeping Tom? The fuck am I peeping Tom? I swang open the damn door. The fucking most retarded fucking peeping Tom I've ever seen. What? What's next? Do I have a big brown coat over? I mean, yeah, I'll just have my fucking, what? My cockroach slung over. Like I'm wearing it like a fucking camo belt. <laughs> I was kicked so fast I didn't even I didn't even catch sign of uh, of it hits me in the gut. Hang on, wait, hang on, let's do this correctly. Um, there we go. Right, ready? Ready? A kick so fast that I flew into space. You know, fucking just Wah! help, Lupin! My balls! She kicked me in the cockroach. The heavy shock of the kick propels me back, and I'm forcibly kicked out of the room. That poor man. That poor man. Oh! I didn't realize, but the highlights in the hair are blue. I never realized that till now. Huh. I sit in the chair and rub the area where Daisy kicked me. It was my balls! It was in the cockroach! She was winding up, boy. She winded up a shot. Motherfucker! Do I look like a damn golf course? But I will tell you this though, you got a hole in one. Nice. You're the worst now, you came to peek on me when I was changing. To be fair though, you got your own fucking room, literally upstairs. Why the fuck would you change in a location where I don't know nothing about? Makes no sense. No sense at all. I told you it wasn't on purpose. After the incident with Daisy kicking me, I borrow Lupin's shoulder and hobble into the tavern to rest. After a moment, Daisy appears with a sour look on her face. From there on, she ignores everything I say, only calling me a peeping Tom and declaring he should be kicked out over and over. Look, sweetheart, just indulge me real quickly. A sign. Changing room. Boom. Currently in use. Boom. Bedroom. Boom. Although, 
a mighty fine ass. <laughs> I do, I do, I do say so myself. That was a mighty fine ass. Well, I do feel bad for catching a glimpse of her changing. If it wasn't on purpose, then what was it now? I premedicted a crime now. You don't even know what a premedicted crime is, do you? Hey, yo, we just, we just straight up turned around and said, Bitch, you're stupid. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Now, now, calm down, you two. We can't go on like this. All three of us are supposed to be working together. I told you, I won't have it now. Yeah, I'm sorry, Lupin. L Lupin, uh, uh, just, um... Look, look, while Daisy's ass is a fucking solid 9 out of 10, look at the chesticle region real quickly. Lupin, uh, allow me to elaborate, yeah? I'm sorry, but how can I work with someone who's part of the EDTDBD fucking no titty committee? Like, what the hell? What the fuck am I gonna look at? Oh wait, we're in a new world, sexual harassment doesn't exist. <laughs> Actually no, 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 to be fair, sexual harassment exists in every world. Daisy snorts and turns her head away from me. Meanwhile, Lupin forces a smile on her face. Hey yo, Lupin, 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 what was that smile for? Hey yo, you gonna go to the bedroom where you should have been changing? Huh? Don't fucking look at me like that. You're living with girls now, so try and be a little careful, okay? You're right, I'm sorry. I'm glad you understand more importantly. I was thinking last night I want to leave all the cooking to you. I don't have to help you out in the hall. Nope, I think Daisy and I can take care of all the service in the hall. In other words, keep your jerk obedient cooking in the kitchen now. Oh, I see. The true... It's true that Lupin and Daisy are more suited to take care of the customers in the tavern than some guy would be. I guess that doesn't change no matter where you are. See what I mean? Sex sells! Even at a make cafe I'd work at in my home world, I'd remain silently cooking in the back and never went into the hall. Well, whenever I bought out the food, I would always say our maids made this. Daisy, you can't talk to him like that. I've seen how skilled he is at cooking, and that's why I put him in charge of the kitchen. F -f Fine, yeah? Daisy turns her head the other way once more when Lupin goes up. Alright, I'm heading out soon. Can I trust to look after things while I'm gone? Are you going? Are you shopping for supplies? Let me help you. Really? But today, I don't have plans to buy anything too big, uh, too big or heavy. Well, this is a good opportunity, so why don't you come? I think there are a lot of things you'll see for the first time. You're right, I'm sure I'll be able to do my shopping in the future, so I should tag along. Then I wanna, then I wanna go too, yeah? Why don't we all go to, uh, why don't we all go? Yes, and as we are all going, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off right here, so if you guys enjoyed the video, don't leave a like, but smash that like button. If you guys dislike the video, well, hey, you know what? Fuck off. Simple as that. Also, well, do not forget to subscribe to the latest content. And let's see if my thumbnail gets taken down. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to all of you, Sonic Guns. Later.